Hi, this is Brad Wardell from Stardock, and today I'm going to show you Deskscapes 8. So Deskscapes 8 is kind of the ultimate way to manage your Windows wallpapers. And uh, one of the things that's really cool about it is that it can handle animated wallpapers as well by introducing a new format called Dreams. So for example, let's just start with uh, running your regular desktop background. Now, the default Windows background has no way of showing you uh, wallpapers that manage to fit your screen, so I can easily select that. Um, let me just show you. So here's some that automatically work on this monitor uh, for this display. And another thing that's ironically di uh, not really changed from Windows backgrounds is that they're, they just shows the background. Uh, it doesn't provide you any way to tweak it. So for example, here's a nice colored picture. Now let me go ahead and apply it. And that's nice and all, but I would personally find this a little distracting. So let's go ahead and adjust it. What kind of effects might we want to do to it? So uh, maybe, let's see. So if you've ever used Photoshop, you can imagine all the kinds of effects you might find in Photoshop. Here's one that would probably work a little bit better. And that works out a little bit better for, uh, for me. So again, it's one of those things where you can go in and let's go back to um, info here and find another wallpaper where I can instantly take an existing wallpaper and do some interesting things to it. Now different people have different tastes like let me give an example of what I mean. Like me this is a pretty cool wallpaper but for me I'd probably still want to go and do something what someone else might say is a little bit weird. So let's see, uh, let's see this is texturize, blur, I'm going to apply it that's a simple blur. I can, of course, that's not very much of a blur. Uh, but there's a lot of, there's an extreme blur. So I can do, that's, take it to say to there, hit apply. And uh, as you can see, I've really blurred it. So that might be a little bit too much. But if you've ever done, taken uh, Photoshop into your own hands to tweak a wallpaper, then you can probably say that Deskscapes is something you might want to use. So let's uh so that's one of the nice things that I use it that even if you don't use the animated wallpaper features of it, the fact that you can instantly come and let's see there's a desaturation one. Well I won't do any good here. Let's go back to something like uh this one here. So it's very bright. Go to color. Let's say, oh, let's go and change the hue, hue shift it, or decrease the saturation on it or just do a, a particular area of it. But like I said, it's kind of for all those people who have gone into Photoshop and modified their own wallpapers and reapplied them. Now I can just do it on the fly. So very handy to do there. So let's go back. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, so I've got some cool wallpapers here. And if you uh, if you have multiple wall desktops, you can actually apply you can apply it as your screensaver, or you can apply it to your other wall uh, desktops very easily. So it makes it very easy to have one wallpaper on one monitor and a different one on another. So let me uh, go to Desktop Earth. So this is a dynamic animated wallpaper, and what this does is actually look at the time of day on Earth, you know, based on your local time. And this actually will change over the course of the day. So you can tell I'm recording this as evening's coming because I'm in Michigan, the United, in the United States. And oh, I, by the way, yes, it does look at the time of year. So you can see that's snowing and crummy here. I mean, those of you who want to come to Stardock uh, and work here, it's just uh, ignore the snow here. That's just, uh, you can't believe this sort of thing. It's actually 72 degrees all year round and very green. <clears throat> so, uh, so that's what this does is that it can look at the weather or look at, well, in this case, it's just looking at time of day and the time of year and changing this on the fly. Another cool one, uh, this is just called Alien Nest. And this is just a very subtle, kind of subtle, uh, calming, animated wallpaper. But you can come over to this again, and there's a lot of different things you can do. You can stretch it, have it go over all your monitors, get all the kinds of effects you might want to do to it. Uh, you can do here. So let's find something. Uh, let's make it a little bit. This one, believe it or not, now I'm gonna, here I am uh, trying to show you a fancy program in terms of sprucing it up, but I like my animated wallpapers on my desktop to be, I like it to be stimulating in a way, but I don't want it to be distracting. So here what I'm going to actually make it under bright. And as you can see, 
the effect here is it actually made it more subtle. So there's something nice here that's a little bit relaxing, but it's not, uh, it won't distract me. Here's another thing that's kind of cool. So this is a textured one. And you may not be able to see this in this video, but it just gives the uh, gives it a, a kind of a more surreal look. So lots of stuff like that you can do. Let's go back here, and I'll show you a couple other ones that uh the ones that I like. Here's one that's uh, just came out, and all this is is showing ants crawling down here. Very subtle, right? So if you're using Windows, someone may not even know that this is animated. It's uh, an animated background, but there it is there, the ants are just slowly coming down, and it's, like I said, very cool. Here's another one that I like. It's called the Water Dream. And you, what you do is you can go to its uh, settings and change, give it a different background, and water will occasionally drip, and it gives it this reflective thing. A re you know, thing being a technical term. So, very cool there. And best of all, if you want to get more, you just click on this, pops up when customized and you can go and let me show you how easy it is to, to get more so there's literally when customized.com has thousands of wallpapers and such and many many animated wallpapers so let me come to one like this I come in all right there it is click on download and off I go double click and let's see there we go Again, very subtle, very cool, and I can configure it however I'd like if I want to slow it down or not have it be doing so much, or I could just have it have blue colors only. And this is kind of a, and you can combine these. That's what this is over here. So I could say I want this, this, and this effect all at the same time. So, anyways, you can get uh, Deskscape 8 at www.stark.com, and I hope you like what you see.